All right, everybody, in today's video, I wanna talk about the two biggest scams that are actually happening in Las Vegas right now in 2020. These are two whoppers, and one of them, you're gonna write them out of the gate, you're gonna say, wow, that's a scam. I knew it was a scam, I had an idea it was a scam. Steven, you're not telling me anything I don't know, but I'm gonna hold on, I'm gonna tell you guys how it's not. Actually, I don't know which way I'm gonna frame this. This is gonna be a bit of a mind twister for you. So watch through to the end of the video on this video, especially. You avoid these scams, but are they really scams? I don't know if they're scams. So, my name is Steven. I'm not leaving Las Vegas. I'm a Vegas blogger. Like, share, subscribe. Hit the bell for the future notifications. And also leave us a comment. What do you think about scams in Las Vegas? Have you been scammed in town before? Maybe you were muscled into paying some mascot a picture. Or maybe one of those cowboys with their shirts off forced you to pay them some money. I heard that on the Facebook group, Not Leaving Las Vegas, that we keep. You should join that group. You can talk about this kind of stuff. But... With that being said, thank you guys for watching, sharing, liking, and all that kind of stuff. If you guys want to reach out and support the channel, we have the YouTube channel memberships. You can do that by clicking on the join button right by my subscribe button. We also have Patreon. We're going to update those credits so you get in the credits. You also have exclusive live streams with me and other content like photos that I don't post anywhere else. We also have VegasFaceMask.com. I came ill-prepared. The match is my shirt. The only two face masks you'll ever need. This is a great mask because we live in the greatest country that ever was great. And uh, yeah, we're going to talk about scams in Las Vegas. What else is there? Oh, there's an Amazon link. You can go that. It's in the first comment of this video. Commercials aside, that was a short commercial. I did it pretty good there. Two scams in Las Vegas. One of them is timeshare. The other one is hotels. Oh my God. You knew all about the timeshare scam, but it's, is it a scam? Not really a scam. See, yesterday in the Not Leaving Las Vegas Facebook group, somebody posted up uh, that uh, they said, oh, my mom got a call from one of those timeshare people and I sure tore into them. And then they admitted later on that they were just having a bad day and I explained it. I'm gonna explain it to you guys this way. So what's going on in Vegas on timeshares right now? Believe it or not, these companies are operating. Of course they're operating. They need to operate. Everybody needs to open at some capacity if they can. And uh, you know, in the past, I worked in the timeshare industry. So I'm talking from a pretty hefty weight uh, place of authority right now when I Tell you about how this actually isn't a scam but you might think it is so what's going on right now and I get the calls too and I've gotten them even when I was working in the industry which was quite laughable you get somebody usually they're in the Philippines or in a call center somewhere and I feel bad for them and I'll get to that as well in a minute you get somebody that calls you and offers you some offer that sounds really good they say you can come to Las Vegas you can stay for uh, it used to be two days for $99 sounds like it's four days for $99 right now and then they say you stay at the hotel maybe it's the Flamingo or something like that it's usually a Caesars property because one of the big companies out there, which I won't name, has a nationwide marketing deal with Caesars Entertainment across the country. So all those properties have different booths for timeshare in those properties. Caesars here, Caesars Atlantic City, Caesars up in Canada. This you can stay uh, two nights for, now it's four nights, apparently for $99. Uh, when you pay the hundred bucks, you do the presentation, you get two buffet tickets and two show tickets, and then you get your hundred dollars back. Wow. What a good deal, right? See, the problem with this right now and why it's being uh, picked up as a BS scam by more and more people, though, is because obviously there are no buffets and there are no shows right now. When I was thinking about it last night, it came down to this. Is this a scam? Well, if it was eight, nine, ten months ago, if it was a year ago, no, it's not a scam, okay? There's a few things you have to realize when you go into a timeshare presentation. And by the way, this actually goes right into my next one when we talk about the hotels that are scamming people, scamming people. I'm going to tell you about how the hotels are scamming you right now. So uh, feel free to just stick with this video. What it comes down to is this, okay? There's a few things at play. Number one, you're probably getting somebody overseas in the Philippines in a call center where they're fluent in English and all the young people speak it and it's actually officially a language there. So you can go, they're completely bilingual, if not tri and quarter, qu quattrilingual in lots of places. And uh, my wife is from there. I have no problem with people overseas making money on that kind of stuff. This is to actually legitimately a job that Americans don't want to do in a lot of cases. People don't like phone sales. I do it for a living. I know it's tough. But they're overseas, so they might make five to ten dollars a day if they sell a deal the problem is somebody's getting a call from somebody who doesn't sound directly like them i got a fly flying around me oh my goodness what kind of car do i keep and so that's the first red flag the second red flag for a lot of people is you know the offer is too good to be true you're offering them you know all these days at a resort and uh you're gonna get that's a great deal four days for 99 dollars. holy smokes all i gotta do is sit in for two hours at a timeshare pitch then the other part of the deal is where it breaks their consistency wagon apart and their train breaks apart is when you're offering them buffets and shows obviously those don't exist why is this happening well this is happening strictly put because they're reading off of an old script they don't understand 
or it's happening because they're doing it on the chance that you're coming in in the future, which means that you might be coming here September, October, November to book your four days for $99. And they're banking on the idea and the thought that the casinos are telling them, go away, fly. I'm not like Mr. Miyagi. I cannot catch them with tooth with chopsticks. And they're banking on the fact that the casino properties that they have these deals with to get the show tickets and to get the buffets are telling them, just book those like normal, and it's a big problem. So who I feel bad for in this case is not the person that takes up them up on the offer. I actually feel bad for the person who has to sell them that package deal. That sucks because they don't know any different. Like they're in a third world country trying their best to make money to feed themselves. Okay, I've been there, it's tough. You think you got it tough right here. We do a lot better than most of the world when it comes to um, you know, a lot of things. And yeah, trust me, poor here is rich there. It's just what it is. And I'm not gonna get into that video. It's not this video. But at the same time, so you gotta think about those people. And uh, they don't know any better. They're reading from a script, they're trying to hold on to their job. You're calling them, you're yelling at them, you're saying, You're such a scammer, you're hanging up the phone. Doesn't make them feel very good about themselves. But then I thought to myself, is it any different than what the hotels are doing? And here's the other scam in Las Vegas. Here's what's going on right now. I hear it all the time. I get it in private messages on Facebook and Instagram and Twitter. I get it in emails. People are sending me screenshots of booking pages for the Planet Hollywood, for example. Let's just use that. Well, first of all, let's use all hotels as an example in Las Vegas, okay? So at the first start, it was May. We shut down in March. We had May. It was April, May. It was two months. At the 60-day mark, the hotels started getting optimistic that they were going to open up, and they should because they did eventually. In May, early May, we had people showing that they were able to make reservations mid-May to stay in Las Vegas. Now we all know how this worked out. Mid-May came and things didn't work out. We actually ended up opening up June 4th in Las Vegas at the hotels. A couple of weeks before that, you could go to a restaurant and sit in at a restaurant, but it was not the Vegas hotels opening. You couldn't go on a casino floor. So in May, they were opening, taking bookings in May. Then June came and you could actually stay. And then we flip over to the Planet Hollywood as one example. I'm sure there's others with the Rio and the Cromwell, uh, which are the other two properties as well as the Park and the Tropicana, four properties that are not open. The Tropicana has told us September 17th, but still to this date, the Planet Hollywood says you can make reservations. And at first it was make a reservation for July 4th. July 4th came and went and the hotel wasn't opened. And then you had to make a reservation for July 13th, if I'm not mistaken. That didn't happen. Now we're into August, September. And a couple of weeks ago, people were telling me, well, Stephen, I, I just booked my room for the second at Planet Hollywood. I even called the Caesars Reservations booking line and they told me that they would be open. How'd that work, op how'd that work out for you? It didn't work out well for you if you booked that room because it's now September 3rd and the Planet Hollywood is still not open. Same thing with the shows. People are texting me telling me that Zoomanity is taking reservations for the end of September. I'm telling people, go ahead and book it. That doesn't mean it's going to be open. You know, especially with the shows, we're restricted to what the government will allow us to do. Especially with the buffets, we're restricted to what the state government level will allow us to do. If the government level here and Steve Sisolak comes out, it says that we can't have live ticketed entertainment. They'll take your money all day long and sell you a show ticket. They will refund you the money. So technically it's not a scam, but it is definitely a head fake. It does definitely them going left and then certainly going right on you. And you're sitting there going, well, what the heck, man? You said I could book this. Uh -uh -uh. I said you could book it. I didn't say you could actually do it. Here's your money back. Thank you very much. So going back to the first example of the timeshare people. So we're going in a circle on this video. We're circling back to the front of the video. I think that's what you're supposed to do in videos. You get a timeshare person calls you up. Whether they're in the United States or they're somewhere over uh, overseas, it doesn't really matter at this point. I'm just saying that that's part of why people disconnect with things when you hear a different familiar voice and then that's your first red flag those people are essentially doing exactly what the casinos are doing they're telling you that you can come into vegas in the future stay at a hotel hopefully that hotel is open in the case of the casino world their hotels that they're booking with you directly are not even open they're telling you that you can get buffet tickets for a buffet that's not running well they're not pre-selling buffet tickets but they were telling us the back and was going to open up in uh, late august and now it's september and it's not open they're telling you that you can get show tickets that you can't actually go to today that's the same thing that the hotels are doing selling you tickets to Zoomanity and different shows in town. So if you can buy the tickets directly from the hotels and they're not even running and it might not even be on, how is it any different than a timeshare company calling you and trying to give you an offer? It's not. 
That's the truth. The truth is, this is just what business does. The timeshare people are in a business of timeshare. If you come to Las Vegas, understand it's if you do a timeshare. You're attending a sales presentation. It's mostly, most of the time, a very professional sales presentation. If you go to a Wyndham property, a Marriott property, this company called Vacation International, I can vouch for, they're very professional in what they do. They may exert high pressure on you, but they're not in the business of hoodwinking you and leaving you out in a lurch. If you attend and you obligate yourself to two hours, for your offer, you're going to get your offer. If the offer is not available at the time of reservations, in my experience, when you go to the tour, they're going to offer you something else. And the better companies out there will offer to refund your money entirely. And then you get your stay for free in a lot of cases. I'm not saying that's what they're doing this year, but that's what they've done in the past. And if that's the case and they don't have buffet tickets and show tickets for you, they might offer you cash as a gift. They might offer you alternative perks as a gift, or they might just refund you in the case of what I've seen in the past. I'm not saying they're doing that now, so don't take my word on it. I'm giving you that warning right now. Don't walk into this thing thinking that you're going to get out for free just because the shows aren't running. But if that's the case and you sit through the presentation, you're going to get your gifts. You're going to leave. You don't have to buy anything. You don't have to buy anything at a timeshare presentation. If you are the person that can't resist buying something, maybe the timeshare presentations aren't for you. But are they in the business of scamming you? Probably not any more than the hotels are in the business of scamming you into booking a room that doesn't exist for a date that may or may not happen or a show ticket for a show that can't perform because the government told them they're not allowed to perform for a date that may or may not happen in the future. On a side note, don't go to a timeshare presentation, walk out after 30 minutes, demand your gifts and leave. You may not get anything. You might have to pay for your stay that way in full. Not a good idea. Be nice to everybody. Be nice to the people on YouTube. Be nice to the people trying to make a living, whether they're in America doing it for more money or they're overseas doing it for more money. They're all reading from a script, listening to their higher-ups and their boss. And even if you are your own boss, you have to listen to the boss's boss and you have to listen to what the higher power that you might, the deity, the God, God in heaven might tell you to do. And it's sometimes hard to listen to that person and go through with that because sometimes you get yelled at. That's just the way life works. And that's the video for today. My name is Steven. I'm not leaving Las Vegas. I'm a Vegas blogger. I hope you would like, share, subscribe. Hit the bell for future notifications. I try to do deep videos, deep dives into the psyche of Las Vegas. Hope you guys like that. You know, consider joining the channel membership if you guys want to or the Patreon. You get exclusive live streams, names in the credits, photos, videos, perks. I post them on both sides of those different options for support. Also consider VegasFaceMask.com. They're the only two face masks you'll ever need. I'm going to tell you that right now. Made by my wife. No S at the end of VegasFaceMask.com. Two for 25. They make an excellent gift. We're going to be wearing masks for a while, folks. I'll do a video on how the mask policy might be changing in Vegas in the future. So hopefully you stay tuned for that one. Now's the time of the video where I say three, two, one, click. So we're going to do that right now. By the way, I'm not on any substances. This is just 35, 36, or 37 days away from not having any caffeinated beverages. Life changing. Try it out if you haven't. Three, two, one, click and three, two, one, and click. Thank you.